Okay, we're going straight into it now with a recording of our daily tracking. Uh, so this is done for me automatically. Uh, every single day I have a uh, Integromat bot that goes ahead and creates a new page within my daily tracking database. It adds in the date, um, and I've actually made this one manually because it's just an example. Um, but it will uh, tie itself into the year. Oh, it has done it. It will tie itself into the, the year and the week. So... Let's start off with this information at the top and then we'll get into the juicy stuff down at the bottom. Uh, today's income, I just simply like to track this. It could technically be done automatically, but I do receive some payments over crypto, bank transfers, like all different types of stuff. So I just, and also I do quite like, um, this is my equivalent of counting money because everything I do is kind of digital, uh, just to kind of look over at the end of the day, how much do we actually make? And I do input that one manually. Sleep is done automatically. Uh, it's synced over from Apple Health. Um, currently it's tracked by the iPhone, but I think I'm gonna move back to like a, an Apple Watch as much as I will, will miss the, I'll miss the Rolex. Um, I'll, I'll keep it of course, but um, the Apple uh, OS 9, Watch OS 9 I think it is, released some really good health uh, sleep tracking updates and health updates in fact in general. So um, uh, that will give me much more detailed insights on my sleep, REM sleep and so on. And it was actually rated as one of the, the most accurate sleep trackers. Um, so yeah, that was quite interesting. Weight is done by Smart Scale. Again, syncs over to Apple Health and Apple Health then syncs over to Notion. Body fat percentage also done daily. So I've just positioned my, um, just to talk about the simplicity of doing these habits. Uh, I wake up in the morning, I walk towards the shower, the scale is out by the shower um, and I literally stand on there. And then right next to the scale, I put my blood pressure, smart blood pressure monitor. Uh, do my blood pressure in the morning and also do it in the evening and that all gets synced over automatically. Uh, for calories I do um, uh, my fitness power I think it's called. Um, out here we actually have like a, a chef at the moment so she cooks every day like I'm eating pretty healthy just um, omelette and spinach 250 grams of chicken and broccoli so I don't actually need to weigh everything out each time she weighs out 250 grams of chicken and two cups of broccoli for me and it's done automatically and input into the system. So I have the calories, I have the fats, I have the carbs, I have the proteins. Morning blood pressure, morning heart rate, evening blood pressure, evening heart rate, again, all synced over automatically um, from the uh, smart health tracker. Um, and then daily steps is also done automatically. However, the phone isn't that accurate, which is kind of why I want to move back onto the Apple Watch just to give myself more accurate data on daily steps and also on sleep. Um, happiness, I don't really fill out, but generally I'm pretty happy these days actually. Uh, effort is something I fill out just on a scale of 1 to 10. I just rate myself of did I give 100% today? Did I really give 100% today? Uh, okay, now we come down into the more interesting stuff. This, by the way, the reason that all this stuff is up here is because you can position your um, any database to kind of be like a table in like an Airtable or Google Sheets or Excel style. So it's all of the fields up here that are going to be visible in Excel. Um, like if I was to export this as a CSV, I want access to all of this data, right? Anything down here isn't going to be visible in the CSV file. So that's the reason for that separation. And like 99% of this is automated. The only things that manually are put in, in today's income uh, and my effort and all of the carbs and proteins that synced over from my fitness pal app. Okay, every morning, this is how I start off the day. I am grateful for, I write out three things here. This can be, it's just a, like kind of like a, a positive way to start off the morning, I guess. I can put anything as little here as like, I'm grateful for drinking like a nice cup of coffee or um, I'm grateful for like my family, like the, whatever it is, whatever, like I just try to start off with something a little bit positive. And then I literally map out what would make today great. What are the things that I, that would make today a successful day for me and write down three of them. And basically what this is telling me is these are the things I should be focusing on today. Not to do list, I have a habit of at the end of the day, I write down um, my improvements and disappointments. What was I disappointed on yesterday? I can toggle this drop down and it will show me a history of all of the disappointments that I had, um, you know, for all time essentially. And I can write down these are the things I don't want to do. You know, it can be eating processed foods, eating sugars, uh, eating like not working out, like uh, sorry, like being lazy or procrastinating, whatever it is that you struggle with, just write this down. Daily affirmations, um, I pretty much just 
Uh, I've not really got a set thing that I write down. Uh, just um, mostly it's going to be related to what, what this is. Like, you know, uh, I achieve all of the tasks I set for myself um, and, and things like that. Journaling and freeing up brain CPU. This is, I actually really like this habit. Uh, again, no, nobody ever reads this. I don't even go through and read and review this. This is just whatever is on my mind, I will put down in, in here uh, and type out whatever I want. Um, it will be anywhere from like a sentence or two to like a couple of paragraphs. There's no right or wrong answer. So if you want to do more, you absolutely can. I think at most I would do like one paragraph, just writing down what am I currently thinking about? And if I start typing out like what other thoughts that come to my mind, just to kind of free up your, your bandwidth, um, essentially. Then down here, where what is my one thing right now? So this is a concept from the book, The One Thing, and it is just an idea. It's a concept of ruthless prioritization. So if I could only do one thing today, what would that be? And I write that down and hopefully it should be the same up here. My one thing should also be, uh, they should be they should be related, uh, hopefully the same thing. And so I make sure that I kind of add that in as a task and that gets completed um, today. Then in the evening, I do more of like a review. Um, so yeah, you'll also find that I kind of drop some, I don't even know who this guy is, but I drop some random wisdom around my notion system quite a lot for inspiration, motivation to kick off uh, particular thought patterns, whatever it is. Five things that I achieved today. How could I have improved my results today? What time was wasted? Go through the schedule and find where I wasted time. Be honest with yourself. Are you really trying your best? Write out your improvements. And the next morning when you come back, you um, make sure that you improve on the next day. This is purely based on the concept of improving by 1% every single day, uh, which has a compounding effect every single year. Um, yeah. Uh, achievements, improvement, disappointment. What did I fuck up on? What situations could I have avoided? What situations put me at risk? What could have gone worse? What mistakes did I make? So this is where I keep track of any kind of close calls that I've had. Um, hopefully something that hasn't completely blown up in my face yet. Um, but of course there are like risky situations. Like um, last year, like I had uh, disappointments on like the Tinder service just becoming impossible for us to deliver. So I had to navigate a pretty difficult situation to be honest um in terms of like the service and, and working with, with the team and so on uh, or more recently in colombia like my um we were setting up a content house and the police came around the colombian police who didn't speak any english my girlfriend was like giving them attitude and like being very like moody with them uh which of course we like could have put us in like a very difficult situation especially considering that neither of us speak good Spanish and they could bury you easily um, like I could have potentially been arrested um, so that is something that went on like disappointments I came up with the solution of having like a very serious talk with my girlfriend about how she needs to like operate particularly when we're in like a foreign country uh, and we don't know the people because that is a perfect example of a situation that I believe we got off lightly with and it could have gone a lot lot worse but I try to analyze these like every day in my day to day life did I like Whatever it is, anything that is kind of, particularly as like you climb the ladder of success a bit more, you will start to, like my focus have, has shifted quite a lot into uh, less risky things, a little bit more into like the preservation of things. And of course, making sure that you are minimizing your exposure to unnecessary risk. Uh, so that is the purpose of this habit. And I do this every single day. What is one thing that I can implement to improve myself by 1%? Uh, so hopefully that should fall into kind of one of these categories. Uh, and then we go ahead and we schedule all tasks for tomorrow. So I do this every morning and every evening. Down here, um, we have habits and routines. And I think that I will make like a full video perhaps on habits and routines uh, just to, I think it will be like too long of a video to, in fact, why not? Let's just include it in this one. These are my habits and routines. Um, they have their own folder. so. I can assign to do these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If we come into here, um, internet's a little bit slow out here. Internet is very slow out here. Um, yeah, I like, okay, so I can assign when to do it and then they will appear only if today matches that day. So a few examples of, of habits that I have uh, is negativity. Um, so negative comments like whenever someone this this is quite a funny habit actually 
any negative comments that people have made about me like over the years I'm referring kind of like to at school or maybe as a child that you have like things that stuck with you um, so for example uh, I remember I had one teacher an English teacher who told me that I she's in front of the whole class in fact she said this that I would either be working in flipping burgers in, in Burger King or I would be a, a rubbish man like a, a, a garbage man a, a, one of the people who goes around and collects the, the trash every, every morning right so not a particularly desirable uh, job basically saying that I wouldn't amount to anything so every single day I go through and read over the comments that people have made about me doubting me thinking in like a negative light and I'm a very very stubborn person and um, I I will kind of go to the ends of the earth to prove someone wrong so I literally use like the negativity as fuel as motivation of thinking I'm just going to prove this person wrong and um, it's about yeah I think it's really turning a, a negative into a positive these are things I could sit around getting upset about like of course these were like things that were said years ago so I, I don't really care but I just like the reminders of them of thinking there are people who are kind of against you and using that instead of letting anything like that get you down or stop you from achieving your goals you literally turn it into fuel um, to uh, to kind of fuel your your success and uh, I think it's a very powerful thing and I also think it's kind of like a form of revenge uh, in, in, in a way uh, the people that don't want to see you succeed and be successful like the things that they're saying you're able to turn that into fuel to push you on e even further which um, I think it is quite a powerful concept next one is breathing very deeply so every single morning I'll do 10 sets of extremely deep breaths and I mean literally uh, till you cannot fit any more oxygen inside your body And I'll do that for 10 rounds like you'll see like it's not a really over exaggeration it's um, like the chest and everything comes up so just filling your body with oxygen 10 sets of that three rounds each um, you wake up feeling very good um, in fact I'll go through these in another video but basically when I've completed a habit I will just drag it over there and it means the habit has been completed this has its own dashboard and database as well and kind of need, needs to go through um, but you can see some of the habits that, that I go through every day and things that I monitor. So I do monitor things in here for as well. But like, for example, no masturbation. Like, I'm very anti-masturbation. And to be honest, it doesn't. It doesn't really need to be on there anymore. Um, ever since working in, in OnlyFans and you kind of see the... Uh, you Number one, you, you see, like, naked women all day. So you kind of do become desensitized to it. Um, but point number two is, like, you see what these how sad these guys are like when they're just thinking w w with their dicks and pleasing themselves to the, these girls I have no interest in them um, yeah so I, I'm actively against uh, masturbation actually but I'm, I'm happy to make money off it uh, and then if we come down into daily action tasks I can't go down here because there's a lot of tasks in here but this is my uh, database of tasks and so if we come back over here you'll see what I start to mean so inside our daily tracking which we're in now our habits database is linked in there uh, so that that is all there and our action items database is also linked in there as well so from the daily action view I'm able to complete all of these tasks and habits and also when we complete a task it appears up here which means it's also available in our high level overview I strongly encourage you to start with like a simple daily tracking routine I like to keep it very clean like this to start off with because it doesn't seem too overwhelming if everything's open and in your face all at the same time it just seems like a chore to kind of go through and complete all of this when we really break it down um, it's uh, yeah I just find it much more manageable other great thing about Notion is you can also pin things like Spotify in here you can pin pom Pomodoro timers uh, if that's your thing uh, in order to manage um, in order to just basically work off of this um, page so as I said, this is literally where I spend about 80% of the time within my, my Notion system. So yeah, that is my daily tracking template. I hope it gives you some inspiration uh, on kind of what you can, can do with yours. Um, and yeah, also, I'm, this one other thing I'll say, I'm very interested to hear anyone else who has some systems like this. Like I'm constantly adding and improving to this system. Uh, every, every single day, probably, I, I make some type of change to it, some improvement. Um, so if anyone has any other systems or they've seen some things working really well i'm very very open to hearing feedback uh even questioning why do i do something in a particular way uh, i quite like being challenged and 
seeing a problem from different angles. So very interested in people's feedback or if they've used similar systems and they've added other things into their daily tracking that they found successful. Uh, I, I would absolutely love to hear it and I'm not just saying that in order to, uh, to, to get comments. Um, yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Any uh, questions, let me know. I think it would take me probably a couple of days minimum to put this whole system together. As you saw, there's a lot of different moving parts and complexities, but I will do my best to get it out there for you as soon as possible.